morning movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, this workout is going to be a high volume workout. So we're choosing lighter weights, but the rep range is gonna be up there because what we wanna do is still push the system and challenge the muscles so that there is that progressive overload and they'll adapt and grow. Now you can do that with heavier weights, but we're gonna use light weights today and all I'm gonna use are five or maybe two pound dumbbells. I'm gonna start with five and see how I do lift within your own abilities. Now the format's gonna allow us to lift a little bit higher rep range, so 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. I have 12 different exercises for you and we'll go through them all and repeat it for three rounds. So good overload, lots of volume, everything in the upper body and lower body should be burning by the end of the workout. I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Hey, if you're looking for a cardio workout for tomorrow, we've got lots. Click or tap the card at the top of the screen and that's the playlist you could also check in the description below. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. What to put on the watch? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> It's not really traditional strength training, but I'm gonna hit high intensity intervals, I think. Just because we're moving quite quickly through the whole kit and caboodle, um, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna put. You put what you like. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter that much because yes, those are metrics that I can use. Maybe if I wanna add my workouts to a log or something like that. But by and large, if I know I'm working hard, if I feel my rate of perceived exertion to be know in the zone that I'm looking for then that's a good indicator that I'm doing what I need to do but I know a lot of people do like the calorie count so henceforth why I do it for myself here we go touch the toes but again mine's gonna be different than yours because of so many variables but whatever it's just a gauge just a gauge and if it motivates you to stay moving, well, then it's then it's winning, <laughs> right? Two more here. All right, low side to side lunge. You can stay up high if you can't get down this low. Just really want to warm up those inner thighs. We will be doing some pulsing today, plie pulsing, burning out those muscles, right, with that high volume. Isometric contractions, eccentric phase, with you're slow on the down, all of that can be super beneficial if you're using light weights to lift, okay? Remember, I'm looking to push and challenge the muscles today. All right, ooh, hip openers here. leg swings. I'm just going to flex my foot so it doesn't hit the ground. 15 per side. Five more here. Just a little dynamic exercise to warm the leg up. And switch your side. Up and over. And front press right here. Overhead press. And circles. Reverse directions. And 
finish off with a torso turn right there. All right. Here's the first few exercises. Remember, 60 seconds. Lift light to start. You can always increase your weight as we go through the circuits. Okay, I'm gonna start with five pound dumbbells. I'm slightly tempted to start lighter, but I'll always drop weight if I need. All right, where you're doing that bicep serve, bent arm lateral, I'll call halfway on the leg. So we press and retreat here, good. There, switch your side and drop and press. Up. Yep, feeling my arms already. <laughs> I, I said I was going to stick with fives. I'm actually going to drop to twos for this isometric hold. Holding those weights out there for a full minute. Add that reverse lunge. Same side, I'll call half. Drop it low and knee. All right, so drop those shoulders away from the ears. Just working right here. Yep, see? <laughs> really hard. 60 seconds, eh? That was a little bit aggressive. Three more here and I'll give you a break. All right, switch your side and low. Knee here. Good. Could always eliminate the weights on something like this too. Okay, body weight is good. <laughs> Starfish abs. I'll go back to my fives. Alternating hand to toe tap, with or without weights. All right. Here we go. Up and tap and switch. Now you could mod this with your head staying on the ground and you're just reaching the leg up like this. Okay, that's a modification. Very good. Plie bicep. So we're gonna pulse that plie. I'm gonna hold twos here because I do know that this is fire. You're holding an isometric contraction again. Wide stance and we pulse and curl and curl. All right. So no shrugging. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Watch your chiclets as you curl that dumbbell in. If this feels awkward, you could do a hammer curl, palms facing. All right, that's a slightly easier position on the wrist. Whew. 
shoulders low. Whoa, daddying up. Okay, shake that out. Holding my fives for my tricep kick out. Tap behind. Elbows are wide, okay? Shoulders low and back, elbows wide. And we flex and straighten that arm. So you're here, tap and kick. Elbows up, flex right there. That's it. Kicking to the back, it's kind of back to the diagonal there. Straighten, let's go. Last 20 seconds here. with the squat. Fives will be a challenge, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Pop it here, squat, front and stand. Chest is up and out. Fives added up into your pal raise. I'm gonna stick with five. Okay, side plank, you can mod from the knees or right here. Palm faces the back. And you're here. Two, three, and up. Slow eccentric phase right here. Okay, I'll call half. Switching sides. The slower you go on the down, the more muscle fibers can activate. And that's how you maximize using a light weight, right? Is that eccentric phase. Harder. Very nice. I'm gonna grab my twos. For this front raise with a lateral walk, ISO hold. Roll the shoulders back. All right, start at 90. We go up, come to half, walk, 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 low. Up, ISO hold. Shoulders low, away from your ears. Up. You don't want to squat, okay? You can just come here.
All right, we're all the shoulders out. King Kongs. This is gonna be rapid fire, and I'll hold those fives. It's a sumo squat, curl, press. 60 seconds worth, nice and quick. I might go to eights next time when that was a little light for me. Plie pulse with a palms facing me, lateral raise, so it's out to the side there. Okay, pulse and lift. So you're low and lift, low and lift. If it gets challenging, give me a single, single double. Okay. Challenging with these fives already for me. and quad activation for me here as well. Mm, Nelly. Curtsy lunge with the front press. Do a curtsy here, then we'll turn and press. All right, and then bring it back to your side. Alternating the curtsy. Curtsy here, and we press. Curtsy, and we press. If you just wanna do reverse lunge, that's fine as well. Or just stick with the front press, no lunge. Chest. All right, double knee, one press. Might I go to twos here? <laughs> I might. Arms are feeling this. High volume, here we go. One, two, switch it, one, two.
All right, a little water rest. We're gonna go back to the top of the circuit, start round two. Pause the video if you need a longer rest. Back to my 15s for that bicep serve behind the head lateral. All right, static lunge. Hope you're feeling it. <laughs> Me too. And we drop and press up and behind. Last one on this side, and switch your leg. A little tiny rest. So I'm going to grab those twos for my ISO hold, reverse lunge knee, same reverse lunge side until I call half. Okay, you're here, drop it low and knee up, stay tall in the back. Now, somewhat challenging, a little easier, you could hold this position here. Okay, the lever isn't as long, so it makes it slightly easier. You could also bend your arms here, but still putting tension on the shoulders. Last on this side, slight break, and drop. Not sure what possessed me to think I could do this with fives. <laughs> oh. Down to the ground for your uh, starfish. I'll hold the fives. That was not too bad for me. Opposite hand to toe, fly on your back if you'd like. And up right here and tap, switch. To your plie bicep. I'll hold the twos. Again, you could do this with no weight. The 60 seconds is giving us the volume, isn't it? I know. Pulse and curl. Alternating. Keep both out and curl one in so you get a little iso hold. Shoulders low and back, away from those ears.
And moving into the tricep kickout. This one is the most that reprieve that you'll get all circuit. <laughs> By now you have your favorites and your least. Here we go. Kick it out and tap. All right, into that lateral raise, squat to front raise. Out to the side. Hold it, squat, front, and stand. Nice. All right, down to the ground for your Powell raise. This one's not too bad either since we're just doing 30 seconds per. We should probably do a minute per, but this is all feeling it. <laughs> Here we go, and we're slow. Two, three, and raise. Don't over rotate at the top. Don't touch the ground. Three, two, one, switch sides. Three, two, one, up, nice. Moving to your front raise with that lateral walk. I'll go with my twos. Some of you don't have lighter weights. <laughs> Good luck, this is hard. Low, high, and lateral walk in that iso hold. Drop it low, up, and halfway. You really have to think about depressing those shoulders. No shrugging, drop them low. Stick your chest out.
All right, into the King Kong. I told you I was gonna hold eight. I want the weights to still be relatively light. Focusing on that volume. Reach your hips back, reach. All right, plie pulse with your lateral. I think maybe I need five, so I'm gonna use twos. <laughs> Take it wide, little pulse. You can go single double if you'd like. Oh yeah, I used fives and then I did a lot of the single double. I'll just keep the flow here with the twos. Eyes need a rest. You're here for a second. Going to the curtsy front press. I'll go back to my fives. Curtsy lunge, alternating with that front press. You're gonna start in this position though. We'll turn and press out. Curtsy here. Just turn and press with low shoulders. Boom. I'm switching to the twos for my single press double knee. One, two, switch, one, two. Nice. 
All right, take a 30 second water break. Pause if you need a longer one. Give yourself some circles. You've got one more round coming up. Back to your bicep serve. Static lunge, sticking with fives here. This is a little more challenging than I thought it would be. Not cardiovascularly, but shoulders, holy Hannah. Drop and press, and here. I filmed an upper body workout yesterday, which was a mistake for me to do this today, but just timing wise, I didn't plan it out as well as I needed to. So I feel like I'm, I've got some fatigue in there anyway. So I'm sorry as well, Siri. <laughs> Really am. All right, switch sides. into your ISO hold, reverse lunge knee. Sticking with those twos. I'll call half on the leg. There we go, drop it low. Knee nice and tall. Last on this side, a little rest and switch legs. into your starfish. I love the 12 in a row here as well. I think I said 10, but there's 12. Uh, it kind of makes it feel like a no repeat. It's fun. And up right here and switch. into that plie bicep with or without weights. I got my light twos, wide stance, pull them out, we pulse and curl and curl. This is where you're practicing the form in the shoulders and neck. This is out, back is tall. I need a reprieve too, I can just turn my wrist. Just slightly easier this way when the palms are facing each other.
tricep kick out. Those fives. Step behind. Elbows up, stick your chest out, over half, let's go. Flex, you gotta really straighten your arm to feel that tricep here. Lateral raise with squat and front combo. Come to the side. Take your time. Down for your power raise. All right, last one here. <sighs> Arms all the way up and eccentric. Go slow. Two, three, and lift. on this side. Switch it. to your lateral walk with that front raise using twos. <laughs> Holy Hannah. Here we go. Low and up. Walk. Shoulders low. wanted to kick this up you could increase the shuffle to here
I think I will go back to the eights for the King Kongs. I didn't feel too bad. I got a lot of muscles helping on this one, that's why. All right, sumo squat, curl, press. Moving into your plie, pulse with a lateral. I mean, I'll go lighter. I think the lateral mo movement has had a lot, hasn't it? Shoulders back, low and up. Remember, you can single, single, double here. Take a rest with the legs. The A front press holding those fives. I can't wait to stretch my shoulders. <laughs> ah, Nelly. Palms up, shoulders back. Drop, press. Take your time here. Very good. Last exercise, I'm holding the twos. All right, finish strong with the high knee press. Here we go. I'm so glad I made this 60 second intervals. I don't think I would have felt that fatigue I needed to feel with 45, I had it set at 45, and I changed it last minute. Glad I did, I hope you're glad too. We're almost done. Let's go, 30 more seconds, folks. Last 15, press. Stick your chest out. Stay in the pocket with me. Feel that burn, only Hannah. Work, work everyone. In four, three, 
two, one, and done. You've moved daily in your high volume, lightweight, holy Hannah workout. <laughs> Stay tuned for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to smash the like button. Very good. Let's drop into stretch and you know what I'm doing? Child's pose to start, wide knees, arms out, drop the chest to the ground and your head and camp out. Oh, oh, just really try to press your chest down toward the ground, stretching in those lats and that shoulder girdle area. You could even lift up your hands and get into the tricep on one side there. That's what I'm doing, see, hand is up. And then I'm gonna switch, elbow on the ground, hand is up, pressing on that one side for a tricep. And let's press the chest to the ground again one more time. Draw the hands in, come up into cat and cow, round up. Separate those shoulder blades, and then drop the chest, lift the chin, arch the back. Do it again, round up. Exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. One more time here, round up. And drop the chest, lift the chin. Open the knees slightly. Let's tuck that one hand under. Oh, a little crack, crack in the back. I, um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I really did. I like it when sometimes I write out a workout and it's new for me and it's a new thing. That's my dangling carrot sometimes, switch sides. I mean, when you've been in it for 15 years as a trainer and then working out for probably 25 years, it's like, how do you find a new format? <laughs> what has not been done? And so when I experience something like that and just a different order and different exercises or a different combination, I'm, I get excited. I'm like, oh, this was fun. <laughs> oh, which is why I always put out different workouts because I gotta keep it fun for myself. Round through that back there, good. Otherwise, boredom can set in, drop and stretch. Right, boredom can set in and then adherence isn't as great. Um, I was recently talking to the members about exercise adherence and nutrition adherence. And one of the tips that I gave them in both categories is variety, right? Variety in your diet, variety in your exercise. Let's put our hands on the ground and we're gonna come to standing. Keep your hands down there if you can. Okay, just soft knees and we're palpitating the feet. So just kind of walking one knee, bending, walking, just like that. Yeah, so variety, well, they say it's a spice of life, you know, but we also know in our nutrition that variety helps to build a very robust ecosystem in our gut, which is super important for our gut health. Round up, roll those wrists. But variety in training is also a great way to prevent that plateauing, right? to prevent that slowing down of the muscles when they get so used to the same actions over and over and over again, we tend to burn fat in the fat pads in the same areas. And when you switch it up and you do things that are different, uh, as Dr. Andrew Huberman says in his podcast on fat loss, that you can begin to immobilize the fat pads in certain areas where, where you wanna lose fat. Now, you might have just heard me say that you could spot train. <laughs> he sort of challenges that thought with his theory on spot training and basically saying that when you do exercises that are completely different than your body is used to and you're doing them in a specific area, so say you had a lot of fat here and you started to add things that were different there, you would definitely be activating the muscle fibers in that area and possibly uh, like getting the fat cells in that area a little bit more mobile as well. Uh, oxidize and mobilize and oxidize is what he says, something like that. Anyway, you can listen to the whole podcast and see what he says. But it just goes to show, and I say this for myself too, cross over and hinge, is that switching it up for me creates adherence, which means I'm going to be there more frequently, which means I'm going to reach my targets. But also switching it up keeps my body guessing, and I like that. Now, there is value in the standard uh, protocol of let's go back to the same standard old school lifts. Yes, you could see muscle growth and strength gains from things like that. But 
I always like to look at what the ultimate target is. And if for me, if it's adherence and stick to itiveness, then I need to do the things that are going to help me stay in the pocket. And workouts like this help. All right. Boom. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout.